Ever wondered why continents look like giant jigsaw pieces? Well, you're not alone. Join us in exploring Earth's dynamic history, where we take you into the phenomena of continental drift, ancient supercontinents, and the ever-shifting puzzle of our planet. Stick around because, by the end of this video, you'll be seeing the world in a whole new way. What is continental drift? Today, scientists believe that 200 million years ago the Earth's continents were joined together as the rock plates that the continents sit on moved, the continents broke up and began to move apart. This is called a continental drift. Moreover the Earth's surface is constantly moving and reforming, but so slowly that we can't observe it ourselves. Only by taking very small measurements over a long period of time can scientists tell the difference. Let's dig deep into this start by rewinding the clock millions of years. Picture this, all the continents snugly fit together like pieces of a gigantic puzzle. Sir Francis Bacon first noted this connection in the 17th century, and the theory gained traction in the early 20th century with the groundbreaking work of Alfred Wegener. This is Alfred Wegener. He was a German meteorologist who lived in the late 1800s and early 1900s. As a weather person and an atmosphere scientist, Wegener spent a lot of time looking at maps and noticed this strange shape phenomenon, just like you did. He actually devoted his whole life to it. Alfred suggested that Earth's continents were once part of a supercontinent called Pangaea, and over time, they drifted apart. Crazy, right? Now, you might be wondering, how did Wegener come up with such a bold proposal? Well, he noticed something peculiar, the striking resemblance between the coastlines of South America and Africa. It was as if they were once connected. Plus, he found similar fossils on opposite sides of the Atlantic. Mind-boggling evidence, don't you think? Of course, not everyone was on board with Wegener's ideas. In Wegener's time, the scientific community hesitated to embrace the theory. The idea of massive continents plowing through the ocean floor seemed implausible. The skepticism persisted until the development of the theory of plate tectonics in the mid-20th century. After all, the concept of continents drifting sounded a bit outlandish then. Science is all about questioning, right? Fast forward to the 1960s, and with it came a technological leap that changed everything, the discovery of plate tectonics. Scientists found that the Earth's outer shell, the lithosphere, is divided into massive plates that float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath. This groundbreaking revelation supported Wegener's theory and explained how and why continents move. Now, let's talk about the driving force behind this incredible journey of continents. It's all about those tectonic plates. Picture gigantic puzzle pieces on a slow-motion conveyor belt. The heat generated from Earth's core causes convection currents in the mantle, driving the plates to move. When plates collide, pull apart, or slide past each other. So, what happens when these colossal puzzle pieces collide? Mountain ranges are born. When they pull apart, new oceans emerge. And when they slide past each other, earthquakes shake the ground beneath our feet. It's a geological ballet that sculpts the landscapes we see today. Alright, let's get down to the nitty-gritty, the evidence in rocks. Geological formations and rock layers on different continents provide a timeline of Earth's transformation. It's like reading a history book written in stone. Layers upon layers, revealing the secrets of our planet's past. Now, let's dive into the depths of the ocean, quite literally. Seafloor spreading is a key player in continental drift as tectonic plates move apart, magma rises from the mantle, creating new oceanic crust. This process not only expands the oceans but also pushes the continents further away from each other. Alright, viewers, let's tie all these puzzle pieces together. The continental drift theory, supported by plate tectonics, explains the dynamic, ever-changing nature of our planet. It's not just about rocks and movements, it's about the Earth's story written in its very structure. This theory has rekindled interest in Wegener's continental drift and has become the cornerstone of our understanding of Earth's geological processes. Now, you might be wondering, why does the idea of continents moving around matter to you? Let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand and relevant to our everyday lives. Understanding the colossal time frame it took for Earth to shape up is a bit of a head-scratcher, regardless of age. 
While we easily grasp how living things evolve, ever thought about the Earth itself evolving? Turns out, they're closely connected, weaving a narrative that spans billions of years. Scientists have made strides in figuring out how Earth's puzzle pieces, or tectonic plates, moved since the time of Pangaea. But looking even further back, things get a bit blurry. Picture this, the ocean floor is just about 55 million years old in science terms, recycled into the Earth every 150 million years or so. On the flip side, the ground we stand on, called continental crust, is around 2.3 billion years old on average. It's ancient, with rocks dating back almost 4 billion years. Now, the intriguing part, scientists suspect Earth had a few makeovers with supercontinents, like a cycle of continents coming together and then moving apart, similar to Pangaea. And here's a wild thought, maybe, far into the future, folks in America won't need to cross the Pacific Ocean to get to Asia. But what about today? A slow-motion show reveals the Atlantic Ocean growing, the Pacific Ocean, once Panthalassa, shrinking, and the Mediterranean Sea gradually disappearing, connecting Africa with Europe. India's slow move is making the Himalayas taller, and think of cities like Los Angeles slowly heading north to meet San Francisco. All of this unfolds over several million years. So, why does it matter? Envision a future, maybe in another 200 million years, where people in America won't need a super long journey across the ocean to reach Asia. The Earth's evolving story, happening much slower than we notice, is a puzzle that helps us understand time, space, and the mesmerizing dance of our planet through the years. And this brings us to the wrap-up, the mind-bending journey from Pangaea to our present-day continents. The Earth beneath our feet is alive, constantly in motion, shaping and reshaping our world. If you enjoyed this journey through time and space, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to Physics Daily for more epic science content, and let us know in the comments what geological wonders you'd like us to explore next. Until then, keep exploring, keep wondering, and, as always, stay curious.